This segment that we're going to listen to now, I think clearly is the most important part of uh, uh, this workshop, so to speak. The, the county commissioners uh, uh, did a good job of having, and it relates to the fact that our, our, our county's guidelines, our boundaries of our county, I should say, need to be realigned. Uh, in Minnesota, at most, we should have uh, 30 counties. And uh, uh, listen to the discussion here uh, going on with the cost of a court system when we're going to have other counties neighboring us around uh, uh, the state are going to run into the same uh, outrageous costs of uh, uh, special interest saying we need this, this, and this, the, the lawyers, the judges, uh, and that type of thing. So listen to the segment. I think it uh, is very interesting and it's a true civics le uh, lesson on some of the things we as taxpayers need to uh, pay close attention to and, and also relate to our, both our, our federal and our state leaders. Okay, next on the agenda, Mr. Shallow, you have some administrative well, items. Well, yeah, um, as we had discussed, uh, we started this discussion last year, uh, in the last quarter of last year. Uh, our time frame was to hopefully have a decision of whether you were going to stay with the coordinator form of government or move on to an administrative uh, form of government and we did up this job description and like I said it is a strict administrator I gave it for you gave it to you so you some folks could review it uh, make some notes think about it a little bit I also provided copies to all of the department heads and asked for their input so today I guess uh, I just thought we should maybe have some discussion. If there's no discussion, fine. We'll just keep moving on. Uh, April, I'm going to ask you to make a decision uh, as to which form of government you would uh, like to adopt. And that'll be uh, probably the second meeting in April. Um, so uh, do you have any feedback for me? Is there something you would like me to do with that job description, uh, ratchet it back? Uh, change anything if not I would submit that then in April for you to adopt and uh, you'll adopt uh, Minnesota State Statute uh, 374.06 and uh, we would move forward uh, begin to advertise for an administrator sometime in May or June hopefully start interviewing June July or excuse me July August and I think our time frame has been hopefully having somebody on board uh, by the end of October, November. Well, I think, Mr. Ch <coughs> Shallow, the important thing was just the concept of your leaving, would we want anything different? The county is run just spectacularly. We've got fantastic department heads. It doesn't mean that there's anything totally wrong or anything wrong. I think the other thought is if we had someone that has a little bit more authority than your position qualifies for now, that perhaps that can be helpful to our <coughs> county board. Might help to put out some fires here or there. Might answer some questions that you don't need to get a hold of all of us or at least three of us to make a decision on. Um, so I think those are kind of the things that we've looked at. Have we been doing fine with a coordinator? I think that's fine. I don't think we've necessarily said, you know, well, you're not doing the job that we needed done. Uh, talking with other counties, many of them have been just very, very impressed with their administrators, and they say it does take some of the workload from the commissioners, and I don't necessarily say I don't want any more work or don't want as much work as we have. I, I love my work. but. Uh, again, there's been places where they have had an administrator that has not worked out well, <laughs> trying to make yeah, all the decisions for the board. So those are just kind of my thoughts. So I don't necessarily know that we're planning to go with administrator. And the other thing perhaps with the growth, maybe if we just start with the coordinator mm -hmm. again and with growth and growth, we might want to go to administrator. Those are my points. Go ahead. 
Okay. And that would be my comment with growth. I think now the time that we wouldn't want to go into the administrator and it's, the board's not giving up a lot of its authority or anything. We still have that. My, my thought, and, and as I was reading through some of the job descriptions here too, a lot of the things that the administrator do, does, does, does are still falling under the purview of what the board's wishes are. They still come to the board, but like that was saying, the day-to-day -day types of things and, and where the, the uh, heads of the, the department heads and so on, they have a place they can go to every day and they can get some answers. And if it's a real tough position, that's when the administrator knows, you know, I'm going to go to my board as far as doing taxes, all those types of things. The board still has a final authority on all of that and can and, and keep that authority. Yep. Uh, the administrator helps as does the coordinator and, and as does uh, your office, uh, the uh, auditor, auditor treasurer, thank you, hello. <laughs> Having a good one there. Anyway, it's called a senior moment. Um, but, I, you know, all those things come together, but the board still has a final authority on just on all that stuff. The, the administrator really doesn't, but he has more authority on the day-to-day -day types of things, which I think not only, not so much takes the pressure off the board, but gets things done in a timely fashion, so by the time it's taken care of, we haven't been sitting for a month waiting for it to happen. Right. Those are some of the things that I would, I think if we're gonna change, or now would be a good time to go that route, bring in an administrator when uh, because once you bring in somebody you're not going to change anything for a long time it's, it's very seldom will you but I, I think with the size and the growth and everything now's the time to go that direction well before um, you're asking by next by the well, second the meeting second in April meeting in April yeah. this board will vote on whether or not you want a coordinator yeah, administrator right. in the meantime get with Bill if the information yeah. he has given us is not sufficient Get on the phone yeah, with well, some of these other counties. A lot of that is answered quite well <clears throat> in the. Be uh, sure you know it. Things that Bill has given us so far as to what the administrative position is and what it does. And our input from our uh, department yeah. department heads because they're the people affected. Some have already visited with us, and that's good. I appreciate that. I'd like to have more input. Okay. We're Does march forward as uh, okay as we are, and uh, come April. I'll put it before you to make a decision by the second month. For the second April fifteenth. April fifteenth. Do any of the department heads want to say anything or? Here's here's what my thoughts this? on this really? whole issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have it. <clears throat> well, you get the, the the wonderfulness of being able to hear my thoughts. Um, I have talked to a number of. County commissioners at the MC meetings about administration <coughs> versus coordination, and one of the one of the things that really has influenced me more than anything was the the training sessions that we had right here in Alexandria, and the presentation of some administrators on just that administrator. I wish that we all could have been at that because I think that it was a very important um, instruction and resource for us to, to move forward on. One of those things that was brought up was that the, the commissioners really need to get out of the daily operations of the county. We are paying our administrator, our department heads, a lot of money to do exactly that, to run their departments. Our charge needs to be long range planning for the county. And I think that's where, and this is my opinion, I think that's where we are sorely lacking in what we do as a commission is look at where we want to be in five years. What does this county look like? How is it organized? And this is an important decision in five years from now as to whether we have an administration or a coordination. This is an important thing. We've got some other really important decisions coming up. We've got horizons coming up. We have, we have a number of things that if we don't get our ship going in a direction that we all want to go towards, 
that we want to drive towards. That's what I think this this board needs to be doing. This is where we need to focus our time. Yes, we need to monitor, in a sense, what our our department heads are doing. Re be responsive to them if they come to us. Um, but if we really want to be doing what our constituents elected us to do, that is, we need to be that long-range planning board. Get this group going in a direction that we think is going to be the most effective and the most efficient for our county. And that doesn't mean that we sit and we have our fingers on all of these department heads. I don't think we do. Well, we don't. We may not. But in effect, we need to be able to say, this is where we want to go. No. And have we? All right. Give it some seriously serious thought. You have to make that decision next month. Yep. And does anyone have a motion to adjourn? No. no. I, I, I have one more thing I'd just like to bring up, and I should have done it back in our in earlier in the uh, <coughs> meeting. It's when we were talking about our, our <coughs> committees. Um, we had a construction committee. Oh, oh yeah. And and uh, and I know we're past making a decision here, but I. I feel I really need some input. Um, the construction numbers that we have gotten uh, for the courts remodeling, courts admin, are running about 50% over. I mean, we, had, we had budgeted about 2.2 million, and we're looking at 3.2 or somewhere. Yeah, yeah it's over a million bucks over. and. So I, are, uh, we need, in order to even to bother to continue with this, uh, I'd like some input from you guys once in a while. Um, tell us, you know, go ahead, throw another million bucks in there, or, or uh, you know, if, uh, uh, if you want to increase that a little bit, uh, I'd, I'd like if you could get there numbers um the sheet i didn't bring it along today either i thought i had it here bill has copies of it and he can get you copies i happened to have an extra copy one when we went to rainbow writer the other night so charlie has a copy of it so i anyway i i um if if you get if if the rest of the board if um in two weeks they come to us with these numbers and want them approved i I'd like to know that. Otherwise, I think we need to know if, if they got to start looking for. Uh, I mean, if you're willing to go up a couple hundred thousand or or, or, or five hundred thousand, need to do that. If we're going to hold them at the budget, at what we were budgeted for, we need to know that too because uh, they got a lot of work to do. Yeah. What, and if I might interject here it? too, um, we left it at the point where the department folks that are being affected by this are giving and getting the architect to actually hear what they're saying right now. We're getting down to we want something final. Not final, but we want to know exactly what you want. So if we need to pare down, we know where to pare down. There's been a lot of open air here, a lot of different ideas back and forth. And uh, hopefully by our next meeting, we'll have that so we know exactly where we're at. Right now, the 3.2 could be up here, it could come back down the, here. It's the big it's driver summer. is that we're looking at putting court admin in the, in, the, in the old jail area, and we would need to Downstairs. put an elevator in, and, and that's probably that's a quarter of a million bucks right there. And and um, uh, and the square footage has increased court admin mm -hmm. over the re original request. Um, so there's and. Um, the square footage number just to do the remodeling in the in the courts, existing courts, went from kind of a, you know, let's clean it up, remodel it, carpeting, you know, paint, that kind of thing, to we're moving walls. 
and building bathrooms, which is really expensive. So um, we just need to. Uh, I, I, I want to just hear from you guys as mm -hmm. you're. I want you to see, but we're kind of in a position where this is what we have to work with. And we want to get this done right this time so the next 20 or 25 years we aren't back in there redoing something to get more size. Uh, these things could have been done differently, uh, yeah, but this is what where we're at. This is what we have to work with, so hopefully they're going to come back with something that that's, uh, we can work with decently. And that's what I'm, I'm holding out for myself right now is to get that final plan and most other ideas back because what we got the other day was wide open. Well, and, and they're not going to cut a million bucks. They're no. not going down to budget. And they know, and the folks who are sitting no here know that, that too, that we're going to probably pair this back. So, but we want to see what they've got to so, sold in there. Well, Commissioner, as we made this determination, it was, of course, <coughs> a, a, an estimate, mm -hmm. 2.3 million. We knew we would be able to do that without bonding. So there are lots of positive things here. The one department that you mention is one that asked for three different things, some painting, some carpeting, and a little expansion. Now, the, I have a feeling, and I'm sorry I'm, I'm going to state this, but the architects act like they're not working for the county. They're working for you know, folks that are yelling at them, they need this, and they need this, and they need triple spades, and right well, now. From, from what I've seen, I, um, with uh, I'm not sure who they're listening to. So well, um, maybe. our original mandate to the architect was remodel these two, add this one. I had I had gone through a um, with Bill and and yeah. that department. I didn't know that was even part of this project. It was separate. It was a that request. That's always been even when you walk downstairs yep. with us. I think what's, what's going to ha I'm s going to support is to go beyond the 2.3. I can imagine perhaps, a, like you say, if we need to have an, that elevator, 250,000 or go maybe 300,000. But then I'd like to say that's it. You've got 2.6 now, and that's what you've got to work with, guys. And if they don't, Maybe we have to get that's, new architects. That's pretty much what I was driving at for getting this the other day because uh, you know things have been bouncing around and, and we finally just said this is enough bouncing around. Let's get this done. There well, is no more waiting. Well, the I more thought we had about it, the higher the price before. is going to get every time. It yeah. doesn't make any difference. The more people get involved, it changes every freaking it, time you yeah. get together. And in addition, I'd certainly like to see us go for bids for the uh, courts and courtrooms right now. We're, the best prices of the year are going to be right now, mm -hmm. and we're missing out on all those bids because of the time element. We're getting into the cold, warm season where... Yeah, we, go we ahead, run Bill. into an issue with that because, yeah. you know, another part of this equation is that we can't find temporary space for the courts. So our timing, it, 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 it's really tough to yeah, go out to bed and say we're going to start this project uh, May 1st when, Christ, we're not even that close to getting temporary space for these folks. Are they at all looking into what, I mean, we should have left that we, to them, I would say. Even come up at the meeting. I, I think once we have a plan, then we have a timeline. Without a timeline, we don't, ha we can't go out mm -hmm. and rent space or, or go to some other yeah. county, whatever. I, I think we need the timeline. We need the plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what then, the but all along, Jerry, we knew that those folks would have to move courts somewhere else. Well, we yeah. tried that. And, 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 and I know you have different places, yeah. but Nothing maybe they're going to have to just go to Fergus where the courts are, or space at Glenwood. If they want us done. Well, it's out of the district. Yeah. But we have some, we've also well, that's some my ideas. We've talked to the city on uh, some ideas that we could use uh, their chambers for too. So once we get that plan, we can better say what, what we can do here. Or say, uh, well, so. well every, but Charlie, Charlie says every day it's costing us more. Yeah. Every day it's costing us more. We've We've got two commissioners on this committee, and if we start second guessing 
everything in all the decisions that are being made will never, never get done. anything done. I don't think we, we know what the, the main charge is. That. Well, we know it's what the main charge is. This is mm -hmm. remodel the courtrooms and now move court admin and get rid of the wants. What do we need? That's mm -hmm. that's what we need to focus on. What do we need to get this done? That's what we and forget the wants. I want this. I want that. We all hear that. Get and down to the needs. That's what I told him. If you, that's how we ended the meeting. We need to get this done. What it, do we absolutely have to have? And then we can pare it down from there, right. even if we have to. Well, it comes down to that, or else we stop the whole project. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah. My points. Could have been gone long. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we may. Sure. It may have to come to that. Well, I don't. Want Anything to say further? That we we really need to get our courtrooms updated. I mean, I've gone through there, uh, short of having springs what are you coming doing through in the court? seats and, and <laughs> poking you, um, we're going to get to that point. That is a need. We need to get our courtrooms updated. I think we're going to get there. Anyway. Okay. Motion to adjourn. That's it? We're done. Get off. Charlie made the motion, second it down. Don't yeah, need it. Yeah. You don't need just, it. We're, done. We're, done. We're, done. we're done acting. But we, did we actually close the other meeting? Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day.